including the National Assembly, we have managed to fill the 90% uh, of the candidates. Um, we had a, a problem in, uh, I think it's Menezi um, and in Berengwa. Some of the seats were for the MDC Alliance Partners um, in, in 2018. And uh, as you know, we revived the Alliance um, and uh, we expected them to, uh, fill, to have filled it in those seats. Uh, they were not able to fill it. So uh, we have filled it now 90% uh, and uh, we are very happy about that. Um, in the uh, council, uh, we have been able to fill the 77% of the candidates. Uh, we received um, information about a number of problems, people not appearing in the voters' row, um, and uh, uh, some uh, moving out away last minute uh, in some of in, in two areas. Uh, but we also have uh, we also had uh, people uh, who had promised to who, who actually had uh, uh, submitted their papers but they didn't uh, uh, they didn't pitch up um, we are happy that uh, we have gone through that experience because uh, it, it helps us improve our system but at the rate of uh, 77 percent in the council 90 percent in the national assembly we are very happy we are also very proud that we are leading the leading part um, in fielding women candidates. Uh, we have more women candidates than any other party uh, that uh, submitted candidates. Uh, we did better uh, than Zanu PF, we did better than other opposition parties. The second item that we dealt with is our Congress preparations. Uh, our Congress is going ahead on the 5th of March 2022 um, and uh, uh, all the other uh, preliminary work uh, is going on very well. We have uh, more than 90% again of the district's uh, congresses having been concluded. Uh, this weekend, we are supposed to hold our provincial congresses uh, in, in respect of those uh, provinces where the district congresses have already taken place. We are very proud at the uh, level of tolerance that is there internally uh, in the internal elections uh, as we go to a uh, Congress. We are also very happy that uh, there is a very, very uh, uh, minimum, if not uh, uh, zero, uh, incidents of, uh, of violence or violent disagreements. So we are very happy about that. We had an opportunity to look at the processes happening in other parties, and we saw a lot of uh, uh, disagreements, a lot of acrimony, and so on. And uh, in the MDCT, we are not seeing that. <clears throat> the national executive endorsed uh, the elections that have happened in the districts uh, which have held their elections uh, so far. Uh, so the results have been endorsed. Um, the national executive also received uh, information regarding the, the progress of dialogue um, and they expressed their appreciation about the work, by the work that the leadership have done, has, has done. They endorsed uh, our initiative to go uh, and engage President Munangawa at State House on the 6th of, of, of January this year. Uh, they also directed that uh, the uh, dialogue process must begin in earnest immediately after the by-election. <coughs> The meeting noted the declarations made uh, recently by uh, Dr. Kupe, our Vice President, um, that uh, there was a split within the party and that uh, she was the uh, leader of the uh, group um, uh, in the parliament and that they were entitled to political parties funding under the Political Part uh, Parties Finance Act. The national executive uh, completely rejected the declaration of a split. Uh, there is no split within the MDC. Uh, that has happened. Uh, this is because when Dr. Kupe had his hair meeting, um, a press conference at the uh, McDonald Hall in Zirikazi, uh, she was accompanied by only two MPs, uh, Honorable uh, Noam Vulam Guni and Honorable Mildred Mangena. That can hardly be described as a split. 
uh, and also after her declaration, none of the MPs in Parliament uh, uh, followed her or expressed the solidarity with her. Uh, we are also happy to note that 100% of our provinces rejected the call for a split. Uh, and they were led by the Bulawayo province, which was the first province to issue a statement, uh, followed by the, prov the provinces of uh, Arare, and then Matebeleland North and Matebeleland South. So um, the provinces have rejected the calls to split the party. Uh, we also had statements coming from the organs of the party, the National Youth Assembly and the National Women's Assembly. They expressed solidarity with the leadership of the party elected at Congress, and they reject any declarations of, uh, of, of uh, the split. Uh, the National Executive also looked at the law regarding uh, the issues of a declaration of split. Declaration of split does not exist. It is not a concept or a term that exists at law anywhere. It is not provided for in our constitution, the constitution of the MDC. It is not there, uh, the issue of the declaration of split. You don't find it in this uh, little book. The declaration of split is also not provided for in the national constitution of Zimbabwe. It is also not provided for anywhere in the legislation. It is also not provided for in the law. Uh, this thing came as a result of legal advice that was given by um, some members of G40, Jonathan Moore in particular, through Twitter, uh, gave uh, legal advice. And as usual, it is disastrous legal advice. It was also as a result of legal advice coming from uh, half-cooked lawyers, uh, uh, some from the uh, new party now. But uh, uh, this uh, uh, advice, as usual, is wrong, as usual, is a recipe for disaster. They have never advised anybody correctly. Um, uh, Jonathan Moyo and his group, they have never ad advised anybody correctly. And uh, uh, it looks like they are on a crusade to destroy and decimate the opposition. Uh, and they will uh, 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 get the ear of anybody who cares to listen. But uh, what is there is that they failed to split the MDCT. The MDCT is strong, the leadership is there. Yes, there is one person who is unhappy about one or two things. We don't know what those things are. Uh, and if that person leaves, it cannot be called a split. It's called a splinter, it's a flick. Um, and therefore, we are not uh, perturbed by that. What that means is that uh, uh, the National uh, uh, Executive has recommended to the National Council that Dr. Kupe is no longer a member of our party by virtue of her declaration. She, according to her, is now a president of a, a, of a political party. We don't know what that political party is going to be called, but definitely it is not the MDCT. The MDCT is a party that is led by people who follow the law, by people who have gone to the extraordinary congress. That is the party. That is the party described by the Supreme Court of Zimbabwe in its historic judgment. Therefore, Dr. Kupe will not be allowed to use our name, our symbol, and our party in senior. The national executive was uh, very happy about the peace and tranquility that is there uh, in the party and uh, urges all Zimbabweans to register to vote in preparation for the by-elections. Regarding our chances, we received a report that our chances are extremely bright uh, in the uh, coming by-elections. And uh, we want to say to our detractors that the election is not won on social media, uh, on Twitter, on Facebook, on WhatsApp. We are ready for the real battle, the real battle for the hearts and minds of the people of Zimbabwe. We go into this by-elections with a clear strategy. We are very proud of the quality of our candidates. Um, and uh, uh, we could not wish for uh, more. Uh, the quality is good, the competence is very good, and the focus is also excellent.